Hey guys, this is Matt with Grizzly Outdoors. Today we're going to be going over the BK-13. Uh, this is just a tiny little knife. Uh, overall length is 5 inches. Blade is 2 and a quarter to here. It's a nice little knife. Uh, not something you'd want to use as a primary at all, but for uh, adding to a primary knife it'd be a, a good option for just cutting cordage and, and stuff that you don't want to dull your regular blade on. A decent finish on it. Comes fairly sharp in the factory. You can't shave with it, but it's it's not bad. Good utility edge. I'll give you a size comparison. This is the BK2. It's pretty much the size of the blade, so give you an idea if you have a BK2. Uh, when you do a sheath for this, you can easily mount a BK13 with it. Uh, same on this is a BK9. The start of one anyway, you could easily have plenty of room to mount however you want. Uh, but a lot of guys have been doing the uh, the next sheaths. If you, This is the factory that comes with it. It's just a plastic molded sheath with a pretty hard retention. And then uh, you can hear that. It rattles pretty good. Uh, a lot of guys like to just replace with a good solid Kydex. Easy in, easy out. No rattle. It's a touch bigger when you do a Kydex because you got to have the rivet spots. Let's see comparison. It's about three eighths of an inch bigger along this edge. But this you can also mount either use as a neck sheath or mount it on another sheath because the holes are spaced an inch and a half. You can also do a tech lock if you want to. I know here. The mini tech locks fit on there pretty decent. Large would be a little overkill but it would work. So I just figured I'd show you that. BK13. I can't see wanting to use this for anything I know like the BK11 and stuff, you can get the aftermarket handles. This one I don't see the need for it. I mean you can barely, maybe two and a half fingers on it. But like I said, it'd be good for cutting cordage and just miscellaneous tasks. Yeah, I'll show you. Comparison to the BK11. Still, like I said, quite a bit smaller. And the BK-14. That's kind of the lineup of the neck knives here. A little bit longer. This kind of works its way down. So if anybody's interested in one of these knives, I would say as a backup, just an extra blade, this is a good option, it's just tiny to always have a blade with you. Uh, compared to a pocket knife, it's even, you know, it's smaller than a pocket knife. This is a Spyderco Tenacious. But it's a fixed blade. So you could beat on a little more than you could a pocket knife. Um, if you want something that you can use uh, more without uh, getting your hand fatigued, that would go with the BK-14. It's a little more comfortable. A little bigger blade profile, but for a backup, nice tiny blade to have with you all the time, this is a good, a good option. Thanks for watching. Uh, any questions, uh, feel free to ask. You can always answer them. And have a good afternoon.